November 21st, 2024. How's it going, guys? Well, I've got another video for you. And what are we going to talk about? Kansas City. Independence, Missouri. We're going to talk about crime. We're going to talk about drugs. We're going to talk about the homeless. We're going to talk about the prostitution. So early this morning, I thought I might just take a real quick drive-by over here off Nolan Road and see what's going on between the Gorman's parking lot and Steak and Shake. Let's just take a look at that. Okay, guys. I thought I'd just start this out right here. This was at the very end after I did all the driving around over there. But you see this pickup truck. It was sitting over there at the Gorman's parking lot. Now, it didn't have no front tag on it. Whether it had a back tag on it, I don't know. We're going to show a little bit more close-up of that. We're going to show a steak and shake over there. And yeah, over there where they were living over there in that area. A lot more stuff tore out over there. And uh, we had our uh, Asian guy sitting in the Toys R Us parking lot. Right as clockwork. 7.46 a.m. in the morning. And a white other person in another vehicle sitting there. Now, why would you need to sit there at 7.46 a.m. in the morning? There was no buses around. Nobody was picking up at the bus stop or anything. This was just a little bit strange here, but hold on. All right, guys. So the first vehicle I see here, this is in the Toys R Us parking lot, is uh, that Asian gentleman. Oh, he's up there. He's up there during the day constantly, constantly. This is this is just a weird thing, man. Now I think it's got supposedly uh I don't know if it's got a it's got let me hold on a second. Okay, I wanted to check that real quick. Supposedly he he's a handicapped person. He's got a handicapped tag, Missouri tag on it, and he's got a American flag in the window. Now uh, what would you need to be doing up there every day at Toys R Us? In that parking lot. Now, sometimes he's sitting over by those other buildings off to the side, kind of like where you go up there where Hardy's used to be. He'll sit underneath that tree and stuff. So, I don't know. That That's just weird. I mean, if he was one of these people delivering food or something, you'd think maybe you might be going to McDonald's or Wendy's. I mean, I when we go there all the time, there's always somebody sitting there waiting to retrieve the food so they can make some extra cash. But I don't think that's what this is. This is something else. Something something needs to be kind of looked into. So hold on. All right. So now we see our other two vehicles. All three were setting in there at 7.46 a.m. this morning. White person setting in this one. Couldn't really tell what this one is because all the windows are so black you couldn't see through it. It's like solid blacked out on this truck. But we'll get a good picture of that truck, too. And I don't think I can see if that's got tags on the back end. But the front end, no. It just had some kind of some kind of funky plate on the front of it. And I'm going to show that in a second. But this is 7.46 a.m. in the morning. So hold on. And so many of these places, so much of the glass has been knocked out. They board them back up and then they crawl back through. I can't even imagine what's probably inside these places. They probably peed. They probably pooped inside of them. I mean, who knows? I mean, unimaginable. Now, along the way, now this is over there by where Hardy's would be, this other building. This is another one that they've knocked the windows out of. And I wish I could see if I could lighten this up enough to where you guys can see that. But that is massive sharp shopping carts and trash that's sitting right in this area here. A massive amount. I mean, this is just horrible. Just horrible, man. All right, let's get on that truck. And uh, there's that truck. I guess KC Ride had already been over and picked everybody else up, so I know that wasn't a supervisor. Super, actually, supervisor was in a pretty nice-looking vehicle. 
But I just made me wonder what this thing was doing there. And then after I drove down the street down there, it pulled out. That's why when I was going back down 40, and uh, that's why I knew it didn't have no tag on the front. Now, it might be a Kansas. I don't know. But I uh, wanted you guys to see this. This is 7.46 a.m. What would you need to be there at 7.46 in a abandoned parking lot? Look at look at all this, guys. I mean, look at, look at all this. And this is cool, man. This is Independence here. This is Kansas City. I mean, and these buildings have been standing for years now. Nobody's done anything about it. That's nuts. That is nuts. But they deal drugs. They have prostitutes over there. And I'm sure they're trafficking, you know, young people too. Let's see if I can put this deal. I mean, this just still blows my mind. These two here. I mean, they were just out there trying to stay warm. Gorman's parking lot by the concrete pillar. And that's where this white truck's at. Hmm. Yeah, Kansas City, Missouri, supposedly went after a, a gang here, got 30 people, and they just dropped everything they were doing to... Well, they need to start just, you know, getting these people as they go. And uh, this is not that hard. I mean, God, you could just set a net hair, man. You could just start natching them left and right. I mean, if you really wanted to get some uh, stuff done. Because if they shut this area down, they couldn't move all those drugs and other stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, hold on. Another, this is over on the Toys R Us side over there when you go down that street to where you go down to those apartments. There's still chairs and stuff back down. That's on the Gordman side over there where, you know, like trucks would be delivering off on the Gordman side down there. Now here's our beautiful steak and shake. And, uh, there's that big hole that they knocked in there. I don't know. I still wonder what they what they figured they had accomplished on that. But then you look over here. And uh, they got like buckets and stuff. Probably so they could poop and pee. And maybe. I would hope, think that they weren't setting in the stuff over there. You guys see that? And large it there. So then I'm coming back. And you see that truck? It's starting to pull out now. Well, I'm sure it was up to no good. I mean, that's all they do. I mean, what, what would be the point or purpose to be down in this parking lot? Okay, and let's see here. I think I can I'll move this back. And see, it doesn't have no license plate on the front at all. They either have like Metcalf Auto or Auto something Mart or, uh, you know, man, uh, or, or they have tip tags on. Now, whether this had a tag on the back or not, I don't know. I can't tell you that. It could have been a Kansas car or truck, I should say. But this right here is right down where these two young people were down there on that blanket. And if they are trafficking these people, don't you think it's worth warning Kansas City, Missouri or Independence or maybe the FBI to take a look at this? I don't know, guys. Anyway... Keep your eyes open and uh, stay safe out there. This is Kansas City. This is Independence, Missouri, guys. Have a good one.